Now, for this really interesting flapping, overlapping, tapered electric eel, watch this. I'm going to start off the edge of the paper, and I'm going to block in. I'm going to very lightly block in a foreshortened shape. Now, watch this. Once you zoom in just a bit, and I'm going to draw this flag. Think of a foreshortened cylinder, okay? The top edge of the flag. See this? Right there's good. I'll move it down so you can see it. See this? I'm going to draw this flag shape. Remember when we drew the flag? Now, remember... When you were drawing the, those cylinders and the, let me see if I can find a sample here. Here you go. Remember when you were drawing the cylinder with the two dots? Remember that? And a four shortened circle. Then we draw straight down. We can zoom in so we can see this detail here. Four shortened shape. See this? Curve the bottom. See a cylinder. Now watch this. The flag that we're about to draw, this one right here, we're using the back edge of this. See this? We're going to draw. Now look what I'm going to do. We're going to come over like this. I'm going to curve in front and curve away. So basically, I'm going to put two cylinders together. See, I'm going to draw that shape. See this? Drawing the, the back cylinder. It's going to come towards you. Pull out so we can see the shape. And then I'm going to draw the front of the eel. So this will be the front. It's going to be like this flag coming across here. We're going to use that nice ribbon effect. All right, and It's going to be curving right out of a cave or something. And then draw the thickness down the side here. Here's a peekaboo line. Remember, we're just very lightly sketching, and then we'll draw the detail, and we'll clean it up in a little bit. Now, as you guys, as your you students are shaping your drawings, here's size. This is large. It gets small. It looks like a belt buckle, doesn't it? You can put holes in a little, little, little uh, tooth, a belt buckle. Just curve this away from you, following your guideline or a ribbon, okay? Goes up, just goes off the end of the paper. Now we start having some fun with the detail, okay? So up here, I'm going to draw some crazy eyes here. I'll draw this 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 uh, crazy looking electric eel. So let's put the other eye back behind here, tuck it back behind there, see that size, and then, ah! <laughs> Sorry, I always freak out when I draw hair. I can't believe I drew hair on an eel, but my cameraman was getting tired back behind me and started yawning, so I had to draw hair to wake him up. Now this, I'm gonna make this electric eel, his mouth's gonna be popping open here, look at this. And you can put teeth on there if you want. I'm going to make mine just a toothless eel. And then down here, watch this. I'm going to keep that foreshortening. Now, this actually angles up in direction northeast, the bottom of the mouth, if you're going to draw a guideline. And then the foreshortened circle. It's longer on this side, and it gets smaller as it moves away. And then, see what I'm going to do here? I'm going to pull the mouth down. See this? I'll pull it down, make it a little bit bigger. And then, now, I like drawing the, the eyeballs. You don't have to draw eyeballs, or you can draw funky ones that look more like a dragon leave a little reflection inside the eye you can zoom in so you can see more detail and then i'll leave a little right there keep coming in actually going a little bit further keep coming in right there's great and then back here you just see the top of that pupil see we draw little pupils back here now right away watch this right away let's put a dark shadow under his eye okay let's make that eye pop out here pop pop it out here and then inside the mouth, I'm going to make it really dark inside there, too. You can use the edge of your pencil. Get it really dark. There. In fact, you know what I'm going to do right here? You know what I'm going to do right here? I'm going to put, I want to put a, a tongue. There. I don't know if eels have tongues, but this guy does. Look at that. I put an overlapping tongue right there. You can put teeth. You want to put some fangs on yours? I'll put some fangs on mine. Now, this near one's larger, and it lines up in that direction. And the far fang's a little bit smaller, okay? How about some down here? I'll put a couple down here. This one, you want to put a whole bunch of them? A whole bunch of teeth? A whole bunch of small ones? Oh, there we go. Now we're going crazy. I wasn't even going to put teeth, but I couldn't help it. Look at that. I couldn't help myself. It's my nature. And then we put a dark shadow. Go ahead and zoom in on that. Zoom in on that uh, eel's mouth there. Yeah, right there. And then we put, uh, put dark contrast, dark behind the tooth. Now remember... Use variation, use a variety, and I'm going to put a thickness, a little lip there. See that? Put a little thickness up here on top. Now look at it. it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just having fun. We're just sketching, scribbling. You can refine it. You can trace it over with pen and ink. Go ahead and pull back a bit. Pull back a bit and use your paper stomp now. We'll blend out this. Keep pulling back. Pull the camera back. This is what happens. See what happens? Okay, zoom in really close at first. Go ahead, zoom in right there. Now look at See how it looks kind of messy? Now, if you copy your, your drawing on a scanner or a copy machine and you reduce it, this is what happens to all the mistakes. Watch. Now, now zoom out. Pull out. Now watch this. 
So if I was on a copy machine and I shrunk it to 50%, look at how it, it makes everything, tightens everything up. Isn't that neat? Okay, come back in just a bit. Come on back in about right there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. Now, you, uh, that's a little handy technique to use, you know, when you're getting things published. Now, here's a gill back here. Let's make it so that your eel can breathe. Put a little shadow underneath there. Now, let's go kind of crazy. We can put... Uh, uh, down here, we can put fins on our drawing. I'm going to draw down here. I'm going to put I'm going to put some you know some fins up down here, and then now I should put a fin up on, on top up here, but I don't want to get in the way of this wonderful fold, so I'm going to move back. You know, I'll put put one back here, right here. I'll put a fin on the side. How's that? Maybe I'll put a fin coming back here. Let's see how that looks. That's eh, all right. Okay. See, some you do it light, and you can erase it later if you want. Up here, maybe I'll put a, just a little fin, just a little bit of a fin as it goes around, okay? And then back here, I'll put more of a fin as it goes off the paper, okay? I'm just having some fun with the shape here and fold it down. And this fin will get smaller as it moves out. Okay, pull out just a bit, right there's good. And let's darken this in. I know I'm running out of time. I want to keep these to fun 10 minute lessons for you guys here. A couple more minutes. So there's a fin down here, fin up here. You just have some fun. This is more of a dragon, an eel dragon than anything. You can have a lot of fun on the texture. And back here, uh, it goes off into the paper. Okay, I think I'll stop with the fin. And then I'm gonna. I like using this uh, this graphite here. To this is just a, a chunk of a piece of graphite, and I'm just gonna use it to put some shading with a stroke. See, it's just a pe piece of graphite. And it comes, they come in sticks like this, okay? Now this is uh, charcoal, but uh, here it is. I, I just ripped mine open. One of them says, see, it says graphite sticks. It's from Generals. And I'm using, see this? See this? A tray of, uh, how much are these? Like two bucks or something from an art supply store. I got them from Jerry's Art Artorama here in Houston. Here, blend it nice and dark at the bottom. Shoo. These are great tools. Now you don't have to have any fancy tools with your drawing. Just a pencil and paper will do, but I mean, if you have these extra little tidbits to use, they're really fun extra tools to enhance your drawing. Okay, now I'm going to darken in the edge, darken in, making it detailed, darken in back behind. Look, I'll get, I get all quiet when I'm drawing in the detail. All right, then let's take our um, paper stompy and let's blend it. Okay, now you really got to remember, you got to get nice and dark and underneath your your overlapping shapes, okay? Get it nice and dark, like the fin right there. Then use your stompy. You know, you can go ahead and, and uh, go in just a bit. Go ahead and pull in just a bit for our eels. And right there, I'll give you a little tour. I'm going to shade. See how I shade underneath each of these uh, sections of the fin on the top here? I gotta get it more dark. So I gotta get more dark, more dark, more dark, more dark. Get it darker, 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 darker in there. And then use your fingers to blend if you want to. Blend it out. What's my time here? Now remember, if I go too fast, you can you can blend it. All right. That is awesome. Ah, way to go. You have fun, and I'll see you on the next lesson. Yeah. Sharpen your pencil, grab some paper, get ready, it's almost time. Mark will show you how to get on the paper, what's in your mind. A rocket ship, a pair of shoes, a shooting star, and some kangaroos. If you've enjoyed drawing with Mark and want to finish this lesson, head over to draw3d.com and join now. Pencil power!